Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. If you watched the makeup video that I posted about a week ago, you'll see that I was on a search for a highly pigmented eyeshadow and I found Profusion at a discounted rate, which I really, really love. I've been using it since then and I totally love it. The colors are amazing. There's a lot to choose from. The pigment is great. My next adventure has been lipstick. Trying to find good lipsticks, good liners at reasonable prices, and also trying to learn and look into whether a lip liner is necessary. Let's get started. In doing some research, I have learned that a lip liner to lipstick is basically the same as a base coat to nail polish or primer to foundation. It's absolutely not necessary, but it certainly makes a difference in how the lipstick goes on, how long it lasts, how well it stays on, and as far as the application is concerned, the smoothness to it. So I have been on the hunt for an amazing lip liner. I've tried multiple brands, and I have three that I'm going to talk about today. Ulta was a middle of the road price. It ran about $7 for a lip liner. MAC was on the other end of the spectrum. Their lip liners run anywhere from $18 to $25. And ELF was my lower end lip liner that I tried. ELF ran $3 for a lip liner, which is a really, really great price. Of these three, I will say the one I liked the least was the Ulta brand. It was okay, but I felt like it was kind of brittle. Um, the tip broke off very easily with even just a gentle application. I also felt like it didn't last as long and um, it just was my least favorite of the three. I will say, however, that between e.l.f. and MAC, MAC definitely is a better lip liner, but e.l.f. is a very, very close second and it is a much more reasonably priced lip liner. I actually found one by e.l.f. that is called Praline. It is a really, really beautiful color and it actually is very, very close to the same color as Whirl from MAC with a very, very big price difference. $3 for e.l.f., $18 for MAC. As far as the lipsticks are concerned, I have also been on the hunt between lipsticks and lip glosses to find lipsticks and lip glosses that are reasonably priced and that stay on well and don't have a weird taste or smell. I will say that in my search, MAC has remained number one for me. I tried lip gloss from Victoria's Secret, which I like, but it's a little bit too sticky. I've also tried an Ulta brand lip gloss, which I felt the same about. I do like it and it's a pretty color, but I did feel it was a little sticky. The lip gloss from Victoria's Secret, if you pay full price, is $10. Usually they have deals though where you can get three for 20. Sometimes you can even get three for $10 at the right time of the year. So that's a great price. And this lip gloss from Ulta was only $2.99. Once again, a very great price. Lip gloss from MAC, on the other hand, can run anywhere from $10 for a travel size up to $28 if it's one of their premier lip glosses. But I will say that it is worth the price. You can go on eBay and you can find uh, most of their lip glosses a little bit cheaper, which is what I have been doing lately. I actually just placed an order yesterday. I got a coupon from eBay, $10 off a $30 purchase. So I was able to get probably about 70 dollars worth of lip gloss if I were to go to the Mac store for only about $23. That's a great deal. So that makes it worth it, but you have to shop around to make sure that you're getting the best price. If you are looking for Mac lip glosses, that's what I would propose to you to go on eBay. You can find them brand new in package. The package is still sealed. They've never even been opened and you can usually get a little bit better price. I also tried the Paris Hilton lip glosses out of the makeup kit that I just recently bought at TJ Maxx. These are okay, they don't have any taste, but they dried my lips out. Even with a lip liner on first, they got made my lips really, really dry, so I won't be using these any longer. I will say that the pigment and the color, they were really, really beautiful. So if maybe you wanna put a shiny gloss over the top, 
I don't know, maybe that would help and not make your lips so dry, but that was what I found with these. As far as lipstick is concerned, I still have yet to find a lipstick that I like as well as MAC. I love the way MAC goes on. It goes on so nice and smooth. I also like that it doesn't have a taste or a smell to it. Um, I will say that my second to MAC would be Clinique. Clinique as well has a lipstick that goes on very smoothly. It is long lasting and I also feel that it doesn't have much of a taste. It, this one's a really, really pretty, nice lipstick. I have tried Urban Decay. I have tried Ulta brand. I've tried Wet n Wild in the past and I just don't care for them. I will say though that they do have beautiful colors to choose from. Um, for example, this is Nude by Ulta. And it goes on nice and smooth. And it is just a very, very nice light color. The color that I chose to try from Clinique is called Pure Posh. Let's check this one out. That one's very pretty as well. Like I said, it does go on smooth and I have tried this already so it, I know that it is long lasting. It does stay um, for most of the day unless I'm eating. And um, so I do really, really like Clinique as well. Clinique's lipsticks usually run a little bit cheaper than MAC. They're usually around 15 to $20 but MAC is absolutely my ultimate favorite. Let's try some of those. So I'm going to use the Plum Lip Liner, which is a beautiful eggplant color. and I'm gonna fill in my lips. I'm gonna be using a really dark lipstick, so the other thing that is really great with lip liner is it helps your lipstick not to bleed. It kind of gives it a border and an area that it needs to stay within, which is wonderful. And this is the Matte Viva Glam 3. Which is stunning. I really, really love this color. It goes on so smooth. The other thing that's really, really great about lip liner is if you are going to be wearing a lip gloss, the lip liner can give it a little definition as well. Sometimes lip glosses don't need any lip liner at all because you're just looking for a little shimmer and a little shine. That's fine, of course, as well. But I have found with my research and with my use that using a lip liner is well worth it. It makes my lipstick stay on longer and go on smoother. And like I said, it gives it a little bit of a boundary as far as um, your lipstick to keep it from bleeding if you're using a nice bright color like this one. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.